Hi, my name is Alterance Gumby. I'm an artist, painter, creator from New York City. Can you tell us a little bit about how you were raised, your upbringing and background? Yeah, sure. I was raised in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, it's the capital of Pennsylvania, so uh, a lot of government uh, buildings, uh, very much small city vibes in the United States, Northeast. I grew up uh, very much a pastor's, pastor kid, pastor's child, and, um, you know, was very much influenced by what was going on in pop culture, uh, what I could see on the TV, what we were watching at the movie theater. Um, yeah, that, that was, you know, er everyone was really into, you know, high school football and basketball was really the big thing. Um, and, you know, I wasn't too great of an athlete growing up, so I had to find uh, other avenues to kind of, you know, make it out. Okay. Um, what, what made you decide to go to art school? I remember the first time I was really actually introduced to art was uh, in, I believe, 2005. Um, I did a, I was studying architecture at uh, Harrisburg Area Community College. And it was my first semester, and the professor asked if we could do, if I would like to go on a study abroad program for about two weeks um, under the architecture department. And the trip was to Spain for two weeks, and the first place we landed was in Barcelona. And there we did a walking tour of Anton Gaudi, and uh, afterwards, we had free tickets to go to the Picasso Museum. And that was the first time I actually seen the work of an artist uh, to walk through a art museum and really be, you know, um, influenced by art in a really deep and um, connective way. Uh, when I went back to the States, I dropped out of architecture uh, program because I felt like that just wasn't for me. Um, wasn't really the best of math. And um, it was then I decided that maybe I'd like to try my hand at a more uh, creative field and, you know, go back to school for art. Thank you. Um, so you told us a little bit about your background in music and architecture. Um, so when you create your paintings, what's the process? How do you create your work and where do you get your inspiration? Um, definitely thinking about, uh, you know, music. I listen to a lot of music. So it, it kind of widened my palette in terms of music. Um, where now in my studio, on my Discover Weekly, I kind of listen to a little bit of everything. So it's, it's you know, I think that range or exposure of kind of just widening um, the things that I'm kind of bringing into, uh, you know, my studio space while I'm working kind of just is uh, adding me to kind of uh, also think a little bit more broader about uh, how I'm interpreting a painting or how I'm constructing a painting or how I'm uh, building an image or an experience into that painting. All these things are kind of just, I, I kind of just take uh, and, and just add to, uh, you know, my, my scrapbook, my, my, my memory bank, my lexicon, and, you know, kind of pull from them the things that I like or the tools that I feel like I need to um, work through my painting to kind of get myself into trouble and then uh, figure out uh, some ways to resolve the solution and, and find my way out. Um, and that has allowed me to explore with, you know, many different concepts and aesthetics and uh, approaches to making a painting, which you know, kind of leads me to the work that I'm making today, where it's a much alternative medium, you know, gemstones and glass. Um, so for this show in, in Tokyo, um, you created new works, uh, and the, the title of the exhibition is um, It Was All a Dream. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the concept of the title and where, did, where does the title come from? Yeah, uh, so the title comes from um, really the first line 
from the Notorious B.I.G. Um, juicy uh, song. And uh, that was actually the first CD uh, or album that my, my father actually uh, purchased for me and, and my brother. With the CD, you can just listen to it as many times as you want. And uh, I remember just, uh, we kind of like memorized the song. You know, before you know it, you just hear it so many times, you just memorize it. And yeah, you know, it was like, it, it was all a dream, you know? And I, it's, it's, it was almost like it was just embedded in me. So when I was uh, thinking of, you know, at the time we were thinking about the show and making the work, and, uh, you know, thinking about, you know, coming to Japan and uh, showing, you know, my work, you know, um, the, the art history, the, the culture of Japan, you know, it's, it's such a distant place from where I grew up. And it uh, almost felt like uh, a dream to be able to come here, um, especially under these circumstances. I'm just in abundance of gratitude to uh, to be here and to know that it kind of, you know, all, all st everything that you dream about can can be manifest and can happen. So um, I think this the title of the show is just kind of a, an acknowledgement of of that moment. So for for this exhibition, you you also created um, G Quay prints, and what made you decide to create the prints? Yeah, you know, I've, I've always wanted to, to, to make a, a body of prints. You know, I, I'm, I, I like prints, I like works on paper. I usually do watercolors. Um, uh, and, you know, I, there, there's usually a season around this time of the year uh, where I usually do a series of watercolors for myself just to, you know, uh, have, have a different perspective on material and color and, and techniques. Um, and, you know, actually going to Yale, we actually, it's, I graduated from the painting and printmaking department. So I definitely still wanted the prints to have uh, a sensibility to the process of painting. So um, with the images, uh, you know, the, this collage images of, you know, uh, images from the Hubble telescope from, from NASA, I also kind of uh, embellish them by uh, painting over top of them and adding some uh, materials that you also find within uh, the paintings, which is glass. I feel like I'm, I'm always looking at images from outer space. Uh, I actually have this uh, interest in the cosmos. Uh, when I'm making my paintings, I'm um, thinking of them as these cosmic landscapes. And with those landscapes, you're really referencing these places that, uh, you know, we know exist uh, in the universe, but we as human beings have not physically seen them. Um, and so I, with, with, you know, I can only really see these, uh, you know, see these cosmic landscapes uh, through my imagination. And with the Hubble telescope, uh, we're actually able to get, you know, images uh, from the outer regions of our galaxy, of our solar system, and, you know, kind of uh, get a glimpse of what's going on out there. And uh, within these prints, I'm actually uh, layering about four images, uh, four to five images from the NASA Hubble Telescope. Um, so you're seeing uh, a, a nebula cloud, which is pretty much a, an exploding star, as well as um, multiple images of um, snippets of, of galaxies or stars. Um, so within each image, within the image, you're actually probably seeing um, either a million to a trillion stars within within the image uh, that I kind of collaged. And um, to me, that just uh, adds to the expansiveness of, of the image. You, know, you think you're looking at a single image of maybe one thing, but actually you're looking 
at an image of, you know, a million possibilities uh, of worlds and, and places that exist. Um, and, and that's fascinating to me. I think that's, that's something that really changes my perspective. Um, you know, I, I love walking around and, uh, of course, you know, taking what's, uh, you know, um, inspiring or referencing the physical world here. But I think there's also this other part of me that's constantly, you know, considering um, things that I don't know and places that I haven't been. And um, that kind of allows me to, to keep searching and to keep dreaming and, you know, to, to keep thinking about w what else could there be that I could, you know, uh, bring into my work. Um, so, yeah, I think that the Prince, for me, I, I've always wanted to work with, uh, you know, collaborate with, with NASA in some way, shape or form. And I feel like this is probably uh, the first time I've, I've actually done that. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, it's funny. I, I just think about the image, you know, it, the, with the image from NASA, or the, the print image, you know, I feel like people will look at it initially, you know, think of it as just like an abstract image. Um, but it's, it's actually probably, it's highly representational in a way. And for me, that's a little bit of a shift, you know, um, from, from, you know, I'm, I'm really investigate, invested in the, the history of abstraction and, and, and being in, you know, an abstract painter, but also just being an artist and letting whatever comes to me kind of influence me in that way. So, um, but yeah, I, it's, I don't know, it's just something I, I've been, you know, considering and thinking about, um, because it's, uh, it's kind of a shift for me, so I. But I'm open to it. Do you have a, uh, a message towards uh, the audience or people in Japan? Thank you for having me. Uh, this is it's a really great show, and I hope to be back soon in Tokyo, but Japan. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will be. It's, it's such a beautiful place, and uh, yeah, definitely be visiting more often. Thank you. 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 Thank you.